Flavors of language, describing food and beverages positively and negatively. Hello, English learners. In today's lesson, we'll savor the language of food and beverages as we explore how to describe them using both positive and negative descriptions. This is a deliciously important part of conversational English, especially when it comes to expressing our opinions about different cuisines and drinks. Let's dive into the delicious world of food descriptions. To describe food and beverages effectively, you need a good set of adjectives in your vocabulary. Here are some common positive and negative adjectives used in English. Positive adjectives. Delicious. Tasty. Scrumptious. Savory. Sweet. Crispy. Juicy. Fresh. Negative adjectives. Bland. Stale. Sour. Burnt. Bitter. Greasy. Mushy. Spoiled. We not only describe food and beverages by their taste, but also their texture. Let's look at some examples. Positive descriptions. The cake is moist and fluffy. The coffee is smooth and rich. The sandwich is crunchy and fresh. Negative descriptions. The bread is hard and stale. The soup is watery and bland. The steak is tough and chewy. The visual appeal and smell of food also greatly influence our dining experience. Positive descriptions. The pie looks appetizing and golden. The pasta smells fragrant and mouth-watering. Negative descriptions. The salad looks dull and unappetizing. The fish smells stale and off-putting. Now that we've got our adjectives and phrases, let's put them into full sentences. Positive descriptions. The steaming hot pizza was so crispy and cheesy, I just couldn't get enough. The smoothie was refreshingly cold and bursting with fresh fruit flavors. Negative descriptions. The overcooked vegetables were mushy and tasteless. The tea was bitter and lukewarm, not at all enjoyable. And that's a wrap. You've now got a smorgasbord of adjectives and phrases to describe food and beverages, both positively and negatively. I hope you found this lesson as deliciously enjoyable as I did. Keep practicing, and remember, the more you use these new words and phrases, the more natural your English will sound. Happy learning, and bon appétit!